Hello friends, I am Paras from Glamming Videos and you are watching Learn VBA Without Coding Skills. So according to this agenda, our next video is about comments. But before that guys, I want to tell you something else which will be very helpful for you guys for your next projects or your next programs. So in this video, we will be working with some common VBA commands like cells, range or uh, selection, offset and etc. So let me open another workbook. So I've taken a new workbook. So first of all, cells, range, selection, and um, offset. These four commands will be very helpful for your next videos and for your next programs. And if you really, really want to learn VBA, then without these commands, you cannot create any program, any program. So this is a must watch video for every VBA beginner. Person who want to learn VBA and is a beginner, he should must watch this video. So first we will covering cells. What is a cell? Cell is this. Like C3 is a cell. D6 is a cell. E6 is a cell. This one block is a cell. And when we select multiple cells, it will be a selection or, or it will be a range. We can say it, this is a range. And address of this range is D, uh, D3 to d10 and when i select this range now it will become d3 to g11 so how we can write this cells and range command how we can use it in vba coding in vb visual basic editor how we can use these commands so let me open visual basic editor we'll add a new module insert module and we will create a new procedure sub new procedure so if you are not able to understand what i am doing here so you can watch my previous videos that is how to write first program in vba if you don't know how to write first program where you can get this from where you can get this developer tab or how you can create this new module then you can watch my previous videos how to write first program in cd so we have created a new procedure and i was talking about cells what is a cell i have already told you what is a cell and how we can use it in vba coding so let's start if you want to select cell C2 or cell D4, cells followed by a small bracket, then it will show you some hints like row index. Now what is our row index? If you want to select C3, then our row index will be 3 and our column index will also be 3. So here we will type 3, comma. now it is asking for column index, then again 3, bracket close and then dot select. This dot select is a command to select any cell and which cell which I have written here. So in this case, it will be selecting range C3. So let's run it. Now you can see cell C3 has been selected. Or if you want to write something dot uh, value, you want to write something in C3, then we will use dot value command. And whatever we want to write in this cell C3, we can write here in double quotes like this is our cell c3 now we'll run it so guys you can see here this is our cell c3 you can type anything in this cell and it can be dynamic as well i'll tell you in in my next videos so what else can you do with cells so if we type cells and then put a dot here then it will show all commands which are available for cells like cells dot activate add commands add indent address there's a huge list of commands for cells 
you can use these commands yourself and if you find any difficulties then you can mention in comments or you can go to freebb/ask.php and submit your question here so let me tell you some more commands which are very, which can be helpful for your next projects you want to get this cells width then then we can use cells dot width and we have not mentioned the cells address here so we write three comma three so again for cell c three we want to know the cells width what is the width of this cell so we can use this command and we can store in a variable x so let me make this line as a command and let me run it one by one now you can see this is running 86.25 and you can change it if you want to um if you want to get the height or width of cell a3 then in this case our row index will be same and our column index will be changed to 1 now if we'll run it 48 so width of this cell is 48 and this cell is 83 so guys if you want to move this cell this selected cell from here to to right or to up or to left or if you want to move this selection so we will use offset i'll create another video for offset to show the complete demo but for now we can see uh, let me remove this old code cells dot three comma three dot select what it will do it will select cell c3 now if we use offset command cell c3 dot cell c3 dot offset so it will take two arguments first for row and second for column like cells if we want to move our cursor to downside so we can write offset 1 comma and we don't want column to be changed then 0 bracket close then select now let's see what happens so what happened here first of all it will select cell c3 and then offset and then it will increase one row because here we have given one and if you change it to 1 now it will move to right side means cell d3 will be selected in this case so let's run it and see what happens so now you can see cell d3 has been selected so offset we use offset to move the cursor downside upside left to right or left or right we use offset or if you want to move this selection to five columns then first it will select cell c3 and then it will move to right side five columns so it should select three four uh, one two three four five it should select s3 so let's see s3 has been selected guys so you can run these commands and see what happens you can change these values and you can change these values as well and you can try new commands as well you can get new commands by writing cells and then put a dot and you will see a list of commands but do not forget to mention the cells address here else it will not work because excel does not know on which cell you want to apply that command so if you find any difficulties then please please mention in comments or go to free vba slash ask.php and i think guys this video is going to be very lengthy so i'll create another video for range and another for selection another for offset so if you like this video guys then please subscribe our channel glamming videos let's meet in our next video thank you so much